Hey guys, I'm Chani and you're watching The Art of Science. So if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If not, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. In today's video, we are going to talk about slinkies. Slinky is not only fun to play with, but it can also teach us a lot about science. Let's talk about the famous slinky drop. When we drop the slinky, the bottom stays in the same place in mid-air till the top catches up with it and then the whole slinky falls. So why does this happen? First, let's look at what a slinky is. Slinky is a type of spring. The springs you usually see are called compression springs. There is a gap between the coils of this spring. We can apply pressure and bring the coils closer. But once we leave it, it bounces back to its original form. A slinky is the opposite. It is a type of an extension spring. The coils of the slinky are close to each other. When we extend the slinky and then leave it, the tension within the slinky pulls its two ends back to their initial positions. Now let's go back to understanding the slinky fall. One of the main reasons why the slinky falls the way it does is because of gravity. Gravity, as we know, is the force of attraction that pulls all objects towards the Earth's surface. All these objects fall down directly due to gravity. And so does the slinky in its original state. But if I just hold the top of the slinky and then drop it down, the bottom does not move until the top catches up with it. So why does gravity work differently here? Gravity acts in the downward or the vertical direction. When the slinky is on the table, it is in a horizontal plane and there is no gravity acting in the direction of the slinky. So when it's extended, the tension within the slinky, as we saw earlier, pulls the two ends closer. But when we drop the slinky and let it free fall, two forces come into play. The tension within the slinky and gravity. Tension causes the top of the slinky to move towards the bottom. Gravity also causes the top to move downwards and therefore it starts falling down. On the other hand, the tension in the slinky causes the bottom to move in the upward direction. But gravity is pulling it downwards. If gravity was stronger, the bottom part would have started to fall slowly. If the tension within the slinky was stronger, then the bottom would have moved slightly upwards. But as we can see, the bottom of the slinky is almost in the same position. So that means the tension and the gravity exert the same amount of force and therefore they cancel each other out. And this is why the bottom of the slinky stays in almost the same position till the pressure wave from the top catches onto it. If you have any more doubts, let us know in the comment section below. See you next week!